What's up, y'all? I decided back with another reaction y'all from the Fat Man's podcast. I got another reaction for y'all from the uh, oh, I keep on saying that. Damn, I'm, I'm tripping up today from my words now. I don't know why, y'all. I don't know why. I don't know. Why. Well, yeah, please hit that like button, subscribe. But I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of this month, so please do. I think we're at yeah, we're at 229, so uh, we need 31 to 71 more to go. So shoot, seventy more pe seventy one more people, y'all. Please go ahead and share this with your family, friends, and whoever you see on the street, whoever, whoever you like, whoever you don't even like, just tell them to subscribe. You know what I mean? So I got an reaction for y'all for Justin Lee Peterson, Justin Lee Peterson Sabbath Moments Part Fourteen. I know y'all like Justin Lee Peterson's uh uh um re reaction, so. I got another reaction for you. I got another Savage Moments re uh, reaction. Right? No one cries over that. No one cares about that at all because... So what's getting here, y'all? So, like, if you're an American parent, whether father or mother, you commit a crime, I don't care if you have 101 child, you're going to jail and your kids are not going unless they commit a crime, right? No one cries over that. No one cares about that at all because that's the law. This is, racial, this is from our media this uh, woman on MSNBC, uh, Rachel Maddox, break down reading about uh, migrant babies being detained. Um, this has just come out from the Associated Press. This is incredible. Trump administration officials have been sending babies and other young children. Oh, hold on. Why, I why? read a, to at least three. <sighs> Can we put up the graphic of this? Thank you. Do we have it? No. Sorry. That does it for us tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Now it is time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell, where he is live in Brownsville, Texas. All drama, all lies. They don't care. Don't fall for that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't tell the truth about this anymore. <laughs> oh, black man crying because it's not about the abortions that are happening every day. <laughs> oh, oh, it's about the babies that are coming across the borders. Oh, never mind about the. Oh, 12 to 1,500 black babies uh, in the United States. Oh, I need to use my shirt because I don't have a tissue. Tissue, please. Uh, uh, never mind the black babies. Never mind that these illegals are coming in and not landing in my community, but in the black community. And they're running blacks out of their own town because they hate black people and taking their jobs and their health care, and now the black woman can't get no doctor. Uh, uh, I'm just so hurt. Take it over, James. James, take it over. I can't. I, wait, can we put graphics up or something? I can't have I'm so hurt. Not about the American mother and mothers and children, but about the black baby, uh, about the Mexican baby coming across the border. Oh, Jesus, help me, Lord. I just can't take it. Oh, and a man ain't supposed to cry. You feel my pain? It's all a lie. It's all a game. These people don't care about the law. They don't care about what is right. They don't care about other human beings. They care about power and wealth. They want to bring America to her knees at any cost in order to get the vote. That's what it's about. They don't care about black on black violence in Chicago and around the country. Killing each other like not in no, going north. Why is uh, Rachel Maddox, Maddox and others are not boohooing about that? Why didn't the Father Messiah, Barack Obama, and Big Mama do something? Big Mama didn't even do the hoochie mama dance in the hood, did she? She didn't go there. I know that there are a lot of people who are saying that earth, the earth is flat. Uh... On that one, yeah, I, I can agree with. Um, I don't have to, like. I had sympathy for the babies that you know, 
the immigrant babies and stuff like that. But to be honest, we right now, to be honest, we need to focus on our on the community here, like the black community, but all the all these deletions that are happening in the wound, all them babies that are not born and stuff like that, which that's sad, you know what I mean? I'd rather you know what I mean the mother can't get no health care, so I mean, yeah, he's right, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't have no sympathy for the immigrant babies, but right now we need to focus on America, not people that's over, you know, in other countries and stuff. You know what I mean? And then they're not doing it the legal way. You know what I mean? So, that's my opinion about it. And at one time, many people thought that, but it appears to be round. <laughs> uh, David is 22. He snorted cocaine, he abused himself, father wasn't around, he's a feminine. And um, David, uh, your issue is not the things that you're doing, but your resentment toward your mother and your longing for your father. All human beings who have not been raised one with their father, their nature has been separated from their father, long for the father. And that's what salvation is all about an overcoming of the mother and a return to the father. I, I want, I want people, I want to answer this question, y'all. I want, I want a question. I want to answer for, for this question. Why, when people have a different opinions, you always, and I'm talking about black, I'm talking to black people, people that are, you know, subscribing and everything. Why, why, why do y'all, I'm not saying people that skip, people that subscribe here, but why, why hate on somebody that has a different opinion for you when you can just have a civil discourse with other people and y'all can agree, y'all might learn something and stuff right there where y'all can take it, take take the conversation lightly, you know, take the conversation lightly, have a nice conversation, have a civil discourse. You take from it either you want if either you don't either you don't want to take it or you don't want to take it. I I never understood that. Like don't call him no a sambo's technical coon, which you know, stuff like that. Which you know what I mean, if you have a different opinion, like, come on now. Stop it. I hate when people do that. Just like I don't agree with everything that mom says, my sister says, my family says, you know what I mean? That's just how it goes. Like, you know what I mean? I don't agree with everything that people say. You know what I mean? I don't agree with everything that Republicans say. I don't agree with everything that Democrats say. Some Democrats have a good, 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 uh, good policies and some, uh, and, and Republicans. Some, do, some of them don't have good policies. Both of them don't have good policies. You know what I mean? That's just like my opinion on it. Immigration is not leaving the headlines anytime soon. As Joe Biden said to Barack Obama, it's a big effing deal. I have with me Juan Rosas. He is of the Border Angels. Explain to us what Border Angels is. Border Angels, uh, first of all, is a nonprofit organization which uh, focuses on you know, helping out the immigrants, uh, immigrant rights, for example. And when you say helping uh, immigrants' rights, you're referring to the illegal aliens <clears throat> coming across the border, right? The undocumented people, yes. And what rights do they have? You know, uh, here in the United States, you know, we all, whether you are documented or undocumented, we all have we all have rights. What rights do the illegals have? They're coming in illegally. They have the they have the right to go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? They got the right to walk walk back to the walk back to the border. Cross the border, I mean. What rights are you do they have? The undocumented people, you mean? Uh have you know we they have you know we, everybody here documented or undocumented is protected with um, the same rights that with 
that a U.S. citizen has, really? that a U.S. resident has. The, as of as Are of now. Are you joking or what? No, I'm not joking. You re you really believe that? They, well, you know, up Are until they put a stop. Yes, I am. You believe in God? Yes, I do. And so what you're saying now is, are you telling the truth? No. I am. You're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. You're saying that illegal aliens have the same right that the American citizens have under the Constitution. That is right. And you're a Christian. Yes, I am. Do you feel guilty that you are breaking the laws of the land and other people are seeing the Christian break the laws? Does that bother you? It does not bother me at all. Amazing. You were born in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. And are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, I am. And did you come here illegally? No, I came here with a visa. Oh, so why can't you tell them to do that? Right. Like at what? Why don't you tell these other ones to do the same thing? Come in in the right way. Because every, every person's case is different. They, can, they should come through the front door so they can do that. Not, not the back door, like and thieves. They're, no, they're not. You know, um, Are they, they breaking the law by coming here illegally? Yes. If someone comes here illegally, yes. So but they are breaking the law. No, they're not, because they are going through customs. No, they're, they're jumping going the through. Fence. No, well, yes, yeah, some of them are, Is and I illegal? and I agree there. Amazing. Do you support the Constitution of the United States? Yes, I do. You, how do you support it if you're breaking it? <laughs> how am right. I breaking it? By doing this with the illegal aliens, bringing them into our country, I'm or not helping bringing, to get them here. I'm not bringing them, or I'm, I am not bringing them into the country. Amazing. Yes, it is. If we were to ask immigration attorneys, you uh, know, whether they're doing right or not. Never trust a lawyer. So you're saying that, yes, Jesse, it's possible to support the Constitution and social justice at the same time. That is right. That's amazing. Yes, it is. That's mind-blowing. <laughs> you know, that's why we have a problem with uh, foreigners coming here. Because what I noticed today that they come into our country pretending that they want to be Americans and pretending that they love the country, but they end up turning against the country the way that you're doing. You just said, yes, it's fair to support the Constitution and social justice. Mm -hmm. But you say you want to come here and be an American, but you're not acting like one. How do you what deal is, with what, how, how does an American supposed to act? By supporting America, by supporting the Constitution. Okay. Not help an illegal alien break the law to get in here and take advantage of our social services and things like Again, that. Again, we're not helping, as you say, illegal aliens, correct term would be an undocumented people, break the law by coming here. Are they illegal? They're undocumented. Are they aliens? What is an alien to you? <laughs> an alien is a foreign, no, is a foreign person. Mexicans and others who are trying to come here out through okay. the back door. Are they aliens? Uh, an alien would be, you know... And they someone... weren't born here, so they're aliens, right? Okay. Is that right? Well, they're, they're immigrants. Are they aliens? They would be immigrants. An alien would be someone from another country. In so this are case, they yes. aliens? They come from another country, Correct. right? Correct. They're not U.S. citizens, right? They're not U.S. citizens. So are they aliens? If they are here, yes. <laughs> are they aliens? I just answered your question. So the, these people who are coming here from the back door, from other countries, are they aliens? That, that's what we, that's what, uh, here in the U.S. we have been, we have been labeling them, yes. You're not answering the question. <laughs> He's not. Are they aliens? Are they aliens? Now, if you're, now, if I'm answering the question, now, if you're asking. I'm sorry, I was not trying to pause. Yeah, I know y'all like me pausing like that. But God damn, he's tipping around the tipping around the, law, the question, y'all. I'm telling you, I need to. I'm telling you, when I get my stream deck, I don't have a thing where I pause it. Tip to alert. Tip to alert. Oh my God, he is tiptoeing that question so bad. They are illegal aliens. You know what I mean? You need to. You need support the cop. You need support the. Uh, no, I can't even see the word now. Constitution of America, because that's how it go. Follow the laws. Everybody follows the laws. Well, not well. Let me not say every. Let me not say everybody, but people need to follow the laws. Like, come on now, come on now. They are legal aliens, like. Unless they unless they're going through the proper channels like you did, you're not a legal alien. You went on a visa, so 
you're good why don't you support the people that cross over why don't you support the people that you know got their got their papers right and they need help like why not help them instead of helping people that you know did not do it the proper way and i don't mean like i don't you know what i mean i understand that the stuff might be bad at home but like you definitely need to do the the proper stuff I don't know. This guy's tipper toeing. I don't like people that do that. Just answer the question, please. Then he pop. Then Jesse put God in. Then he. Then he lied. Then he lying. Yeah. Answering me if you yeah. answer in a un honest way, a dishonest way. Okay. Are they aliens? I'm asking you personally. Do you know that they are aliens? Yes or no? Do I know that they are aliens? Now are we talking Mar Martian aliens or? People that for, can I come from another country? The illegals that are coming from other countries. That is a term that we have given them here. That's not what I ask. Are they aliens? Well, according to the law, like about you according mentioned. According to you. According to me. Uh -huh. uh, then it would be yes. Okay. Because wow. because that why is what so the law so because that, that is what the law states. Why is so why was it so hard to be honest? No, I did mention Did I did it was like two minutes and like not answering a damn question. Yeah, damn. Answer the question and then put context to it. Why so, yes. no you're not honest? Here in this country, we're on a first come, first serve basis. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means that both you and I, let's say are hurt going to the hospital i'm the one that's undocumented for example and because i get to the hospital first i should be treated first no why not because i'm a citizen you're not are you exactly. voting for hillary no disrespect to him but yeah if i'm a citizen i'm an american citizen born or raised or got my papers here i definitely should be treated first what are, what, what are you talking about just like, just like when I I would go to their country, they would they probably would they probably would give the meditation first to the person that's been here, born and raised there, or is a citizen there. Hey, come on now. I did. You voted for Hillary. I did. What is a man? What is what? A man. Besides the body part, what is a man? It depends on on how you how you define a man. How do you define man? Okay. What, are you a man? I believe so, yeah. Are you a man? Yes, I am. Are you sure? You said I believe so as though you're not really sure. Okay, yes, I am. And so what is a man? What is a man? Well, it, I mean, it depends. Again, someone, someone with a good moral, good standard, or, you know, and examples to, to their family. But you're breaking the law. According and to your family your... see you doing this, and you voted for Hillary. Would a real man vote for a lying, cricket Hillary? Who okay. support everything that's evil. Would a real Christian man vote for her? The, here in this country, the good thing is that we have the right to vote for whomever that's we true, like. That's true, but that's not what I asked. Okay. Would a real Christian man vote for a cricket, lying Hillary that support abortion? She has no What's... more standards. She uh, supports same-sex marriage. Definitely Peterson. Man, put a leg to trap for him. He ain't gonna answer that question. You know darn well he gonna tip around, tip around that question, man. Do you support same-sex marriage? Yes, I do. You support abortion? Abortion? Uh, everybody has their own rights. That's not what I asked. Do you support abortion? In certain cases, yes. That's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Well, no wonder you voted for her. <laughs> What is it about you that makes you think you're a man when you're doing everything the way a liberal, godless female would do? Why do you think you're a man? Because I feel it is the right thing. You believe God gave the right to two men or two women to get married? I believe so. Mm. I believe so. He dead serious. And why do you believe that? As a Christian man, why do you believe that? Because, you know, as a Christian man, Anyone has a right to love whomever they would like. Homosexual love is love? Yes, it is. Have you ever been in love with a man like that? No, I haven't. Do you know anyone who is in love like that? Yes, I do. And you think that's real love? I believe so. You don't love this country. According to you. No, you don't love the country. Okay. And 
The reason I say that because you're not putting your country first. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because you don't love her. You don't love your country. Do you think they should be allowed to come in? Like I er mentioned earlier, every case is an individual case. So they, they, it would be determined. And if they, are, if they have probable cause to stay, then, they, then yes, they should stay. This is mind-blowing. Mm. How about sanctuary cities and states? Are you in favor of that? Yes, I am. SMH. Why don't you guys stay there and build your own country? <clears throat> you have enough. The economy is the sixth largest. If you guys stood up and fight in Mexico the way you fight to get them here, then you can make Mexico great again. <laughs> That is true. Like I, I, I've never understood that either. Like to be honest, because all they do, low key, all they do, get jobs here and then send it back to their country. Well, because you know, Mexico may be rich, and it has, and like you say, not no, maybe it is. It is rich, but so then again, when it comes to when it comes to the way you fight to break the law and disrespect us once you get here, why not use that same energy in your country? Because right now, as as it is. As far as wages go for people to work in Mexico, it is very, because very Because you're not poor. fighting back there. They have okay. the sixth largest economy. You yeah. can fight back and create money. And people have been fighting back. No, you guys are here fighting us. You know? Do you think America is a racist country? Yes, it is. It is. It's so, becoming, it's becoming so more... So if it's racist, why do they let you people in here? Mm. Got a point there. Are you an honest man? Yes, I am. You're an honest man? Yes, I am. You are an honest man? <laughs> yes, I am. The founder of your organization, Enrique? Correct. What's his last name? Morones. Morones. <laughs> Call Trump a racist. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> it's like, you know what's real, in all honesty, not that I've been honest through this whole thing, what really just bothered my mind is that the white folks let you guys come into the greatest country on this side of heaven. And the reason you want to come here is this out of heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the reason you want to come here because it is the greatest country, and so they made a horrible mistake by creating a constitution that says let them in, and then you guys come in and you call. Oh, I meant to say like, like I don't like when this was people on the side of heaven. Like, I mean, I I don't agree with that to be honest because I think heaven's way more peaceful than America is, but. America is one of the greatest countries. You can look, you do whatever the hell you want. You can make as much money you want. You can, like, you come, you can, you could be poor, and you could be poor, and when you, you could be poor all your life. Like, just, you hit one stride, you could be one of the richest people in the whole wide world. Like, it's, you got many kids that you want out here. You can't, you know what I mean? It's like, this, like, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say it's on the side of heaven, though. That's no, nah, I I I I wouldn't compare I wouldn't even compare America to heaven. But so I've never been to heaven. We I'm pretty sure never nobody has been to heaven. I just wouldn't. I don't know about that one. All them racist. You got knocked the fuck out. Oh, yeah, that's the interview, y'all. Yeah. Hey, do y'all want me to do the full interview? Y'all want me to watch the full interview of, what's the, what was the name? Rico? No, that's the, uh, that was the other one. I, I forgot what his name is. But to, do y'all want me to do, y'all want me to do the uh, full video of that uh, tomorrow? I'll do it. Uh, y'all just tell me in the comments. And I will see you guys. Uh, well, before we end this off, please hit that like button, subscribe button. And, uh, hit, and uh, hit that notification button, too, so y'all know when my videos come out, too. Uh, we're at 229, so please do subscribe. We need 70 more to go. I'll try to hit 300 subscribers by the end of this month. So please do. Please share with your family, friends, whoever you see in the entire world. And I will see you guys on the next one. Osiris is out from the Fat Man's podcast. I'll see you guys on the next one.